my son wants to go to Hobby Off to buy some cards. Which gives me the perfect opportunity to make a video in Hard Off. So as you can see here, we're taking a look at the so-called junk hardware section. Lots of PSPs there, some from 3,000 yen or 2,000 yen. I'll have to pick myself one of those up one day. Further down we got some uh, 360 hard drives, some Nintendo DS's and if you look closely you'll find the original Fat DS there as well. Strange thing is some of them are more expensive than the uh, uh, DS Lite. Up here we got some consoles. Now uh, while these are 360's and um, PS2's and PS3's are considered to be junk, um, probably some of them will probably work just fine. Taking a look underneath on the shelves, we got some Sega Saturns, um, Nintendo 64s, nice old Famicom there. Some uh, loose Super Famicoms, seems to be in decent condition. Crappy um, all-in-one retro console, kind of looks like a Dreamcast. Pretty, pretty nasty um, G-Force uh, steering wheel there. Yep, <laughs> and a load of Wii crap. Yeah. Well, hang on a minute, what's this? Let's uh, pull it out. Oh yeah, turn your phone into a karaoke machine. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, maybe not. Let's have a little look in the um, old controller basket here, just one of many. Ah, I used to... Um, I actually have a Hori. Um, PlayStation 2 uh, controller, but uh, that one feels quite cheap. Not like the one I've got. Yeah, we've got a nice Sega Sand controller there. Um, oh, no price on it. Yeah, it must be free. Okay, let's take a look at the junk game baskets. Here we got all the Famicom games and uh, uh, six Saturn um, cartridge in there for some reason. Yeah, you'll probably find most of these are just junk. I mean, when I say junk, I mean crap that nobody wants. Uh, like a Famicom Jump game there. Super Game Boy here. What is it, Super Game Boy? Uh, actually, no, I think it's uh, some sort of Game Boy test. I don't know. Uh, some Nintendo 64 games. Uh, let's see if we can find something good in here. Um, uh, see Wave Race, uh, crappy baseball, um, whatever that is. Yeah, Mario Party. Oh no, Mario Golf. You're on. Yeah. Um, ah, here we go. Pokemon for all you Pokemon fans there. But yeah, it's mostly just junk that nobody really wants. Have a look in here. Yeah, it seems to be pretty much the same thing. A couple of GameCube games at the back there. Um, there's a Harry Potter game. Believe it or not, my brother actually worked on that when he worked in uh, Watermark Entertainment. Yeah, this is uh, mostly just crap that nobody else wants, really. Okay, um, onto the Super Famicom Junk games. Again, when I say junk, basically it just means stuff that nobody really wants. They all work perfectly fine. I find a lot of duplicate titles in these boxes. If you're lucky, one day you might find something really special, but usually it's just complete crap. Okay, let's uh, get the light on. Okay, uh, oh, there's a Game Gear TV tuner just there. Fantastic. Um, all the power bricks for your various consoles. Hmm. Well, what's that? Oh, well, that looks a bit interesting, doesn't it? That's, um... Uh, some slot machine controller for your PlayStation. Not sure I'd bother with it. And uh, here we go with all the Game Boy games. Some other cartridges and stuff in here as well. Let's see, what can we find? Uh, Mario Land. Uh, not a bad game. Let's see, ah! This is one of those uh, Bandai cartridges for the karaoke microphone thing. Let's see, oh, that's mostly junk. Yeah, I've got you. Oh, Peace Engine Hue card. Yep, crappy baseball. Nobody wants that. Even for the 105 yen. Dance Dance Revolution? Meh, maybe. 
Okay, well, let's dig deep and see if we can find something. Maybe this hidden gem. Uh, let's see, what do we get? Oh, Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, maybe no. Okay, well, um, let's move on to the next box. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, up on top we've got some uh, slot machines there. They've been there forever. Nobody wants them. Some box stuff, uh, PC CD ROM stuff. What well, looks like a girly speaker there to the left. Ah, this looks interesting. TV play. Let's see, 525 yen. Uh, let's see what's on it. Oh, mm, doesn't really tell you. Hmm. Uh, I thought it might be a Famicom clone, but it looks to be uh, original crap. Yeah, maybe not. So, still in the junk section, we've got some PC Engine Hue card games and PC Engine CD ROM games, some Sega Saturn and PlayStation there as well. Tell you what, let's move out of the junk section and on down to the uh, non junk section. Oh, just a minute. This uh, PlayStation 3 looks quite nice. That Zoe or something? I really don't know. Quite nice though, I might come back and buy that. Okay, so here we go to the non-junk section. Of course these games are used. We've got loads of PlayStation 2 games there, as usual. Uh, PlayStation 2 in Japan is just basically oversaturated. You can't even give that stuff away these days. Um, got a pretty healthy Xbox 360 selection as well. Uh, some Xbox One. It's a Wii game there for some reason. Yeah, it's a pretty healthy selection there. Some nice shooters as well. Next to that we got the Wii. And above that we got Wii U. Not many games there, but then again, there's not many games for the system. But further across, we got a very, very, very healthy PSP section. Got PSP Vita there as well, and some PlayStation 4. Wow, that's a lot of PSP games. Oh, sorry, or was that PS3? I really can't tell. Next to that we've got the Nintendo DS and the 3DS. Again, a very healthy selection. Looking at the second-hand hardware, all this hardware is fully tested and refurbished. Lots of PlayStation 3s there to choose from. Prices are, well, reasonable I guess. For some reason the Nintendo Wii is 10,000, uh, sorry, yeah, 10,300 yen, that's more than an Xbox 360. Go figure. Oh, some um, Bina things there. Kids education computers. Xbox One. We've got uh, three Xbox Ones. And I just noticed up the top we got some very nice Tekken joysticks. Let's take a look in the glass case. We've got some uh, Neo Geo CD games in there. Some more expensive Sega Saturn games. Uh, Outrun there on the Xbox. Just some Raiden there on the Xbox 360 as well. Um, I really like those little mini Famicom units. Some expensive Game Boy games up there. A couple of tablets. Some PlayStation 1 titles. Some Sega Saturn there with the original Xbox underneath that. And then we come to the more expensive Famicom titles. Now the thing that really pisses me off is that those games used to be boxed. And these Super Famicom titles here used to be boxed as well. And um, when Hard Off moved into this particular building, all the boxes disappeared. Mm. Quite a lot of Game Boy Advance stuff there as well. And N64, again they used to be boxed. God knows what they did with the boxes or the manuals. So I'm over in the um, kids section, uh, model section now. We've got a Hudson um, button basher thing there. How many times can you bash the button? Some uh, Miku stuff for fans of of that game. And some nice Dragon Quest slime stuff as well. So 
So that brings us to the end of this uh, little trip to Hardoff. But before we go, I want to show you one last thing. And that is a golden Mario. Oh yes. He's just around the corner. Let's take a look at him. Ah, there he is. Gold Mario. Made by Taito, believe it or not.